Good morning beautiful people, welcome back on my YouTube channel Ivan Atero. Today is Saturday 25th of February 2023 and I hope you are in a good, 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 good mood. Let's see what will happen. Let's see what will happen. Bam, bam, bam. Rebel. I am the rebel. No doubt about that. And elevate. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Okay, let's start talking. Elevate and the rebel. So, it's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in in some way. Stand on your own to fit. This is your first task. Learn to stand on your own to fit. Can you see a thunder light? Like a bam, you know. You might be rather, you know, angry about something during this Saturday. Someone might piss you off. Or maybe you need to become much more independent than usual. Elevate. Elevate your self-worth. Elevate your self-worth. But I think you can do that. So this woman, she will find out her own self-worth. How much you mean to him. Right? You get what you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. Baby, baby, baby. It's time for you to higher your standards. How about that? You can be pissed off at your husband, your colleague, your brother, your parents, your colleagues, your husband, or could be vice versa. Um, I don't know, I'm a man or woman watching this, but you got the picture, right? So, this card fell down. I'm waiting on you, I'm waiting on your call, I'm waiting on your move. This is your move. <laughs> Baby, but also you could be pissed off because he's not making any move. Too slow, too little, too late, and you might be, you know, pissed off. Like, what the heck, you know? You like, you know, what you think, you know? You are dealing, you know, with whom? Like, how much longer I need to wait on your move? But baby, this could be, you know, could be this guy, you know, saying to you the same words. Like who you think you are, like you know how much longer I need to wait, uh, whatever. Oh my! Don't piss me off, or else, you know, some people might be you know changing their frequency. As might as well, this could be you becoming you know a rebel, very independent and angry. It's all about. What the heck you are waiting for? Like, why you're not calling me? Okay, let's say you met somebody, let's say two weeks ago, and nothing, nothing, no one is calling you. What you should do? Put your comment, people. How you feel about this story, you know? How much longer, especially if you are a woman, how much long you usually wait for a phone call after meeting someone and usually you no know, guys say uh, I will call you soon but let's say two weeks already passed by and still nothing will you still wait for another couple of weeks or maybe you will erase this phone call in your mobile phone uh-huh you are exactly what I need. You are exactly what I want. Oh, baby, it looks like you will wait. And it looks like you know what you are waiting for. Okay, thank you, Lord. It looks like this is not waiting in vain. I don't think so. I mean, you know, some women, some women are rebellious and quite honestly, 
um, strong. Very, 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 very no strong. So if you're a man watching this, please call this woman. If you want to date with her, call. Even if you don't want to date with this woman, call her and explain how you feel. So someone is waiting on a very kind of important new phone call, but at the same time, there is fight. There is real battle going on inside of you. Like, you can be pissed off. Like, you know, you said you like me. You said you love me. And what the heck you are waiting now? I, yai, yai. Ay, ay, ay. But also this could be a man waiting on a woman. Like, give me a call. Give him a call. Because he's waiting on your call. I think this guy said to you, you are exactly what I need. You are exactly what I want. You are a rebellious woman. You are strong. You stand with your two feet on the ground. You have your job, you are independent, you have your family, you have your friends, you have your car, you know, you have your plan, you have your life, right? And, okay, I can't wait, you know, to see. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. What the heck? And even uh, this is your answer. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Can you see? Now this man is in despair. And, you know, his friend needs to comfort, you know, him. It looks like you ain't gonna call because you're pissed off. This could be as mad as well, your ex. So, it's a heart break. You don't want this person back because you're pissed off. You were really angry about, you know, something, something happened. And it looks like you ain't gonna call. If this person calls you with something different, but you ain't gonna call. Magic card, high priestess. Could be a broken wow, and I don't like what I see, to tell you the truth, you know. Maybe this person is an alcoholic, maybe this person breaks the sound, breaks the rules of yours, something, something, something. Maybe this person cheated on you. Hmm. High Priestess is a person who knows everything. Like, I mean, look at his pose. Don't you talk to me, like, don't you dare lying to me again, again, and again. Ooh, la, la. But to tell the truth, this story is great because you will learn a lot about yourself. What you can cope with and where and why you want to draw the line in the sand. You will draw the line in the sand. You will become very rebellious. Even though there's a lot of love between the two of you. A lot of love. But it looks like you will put yourself first. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You know. Still, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, the phone call will come. Don't you worry about that, you know. But when this phone call finally comes, it will be... Maybe, like, really pissed off. You will elevate this, you know, sense of, you know, self-worth. And you might decide to, to just, you know, walk away. Queen or King of Pentacles. Home. Also, this person just might ask you, baby, can I come home? <laughs> if this is your husband. Or maybe this is your wife, you know, guys, you know. To tell this shit, guys, you have a lot of, you know, clients, you know, and both, you know, men are complaining about, you know, women, and women are complaining about men. So, I need to stand objective, who is right and who is wrong. For tango, we need two people. For fight, we need two people. For marriage, we need two people. And for divorce, we also need two people. I mean, what can I say? So, even though there is a great amount of love, it looks like you are changing opinion about yourself and, like, you know, you might be, you know, gone, girl. Comment, like, share, subscribe, 
or if you want schedule private reading yep people how you feel about this story it's quite something right at least for me god bless <laughs>